March is a massive month for sport. College basketball had March Madness. Looks up, driving in. May for the win! Adelaide won the inaugural AFLW Championship. Here's Frederick Troll, couldn't quite. Crows win! Sydney won the WNBL Championship. Melbourne hosted the Grand Prix. Seville, Big V and VJBL basketball started back up. And round one of the AFL kicked off. It's going to be a long year. March was also a huge month for core advantage athletes. Stefan won gold at the state karate championships. Paddy did brilliantly at state championships, claiming second place in shot put. And javelin. Jacob moved house. James took up axe throwing. And we got new microphones for random thoughts. Okay, now we're recording and I don't think there's anything else we need to do. Meanwhile in the gym, after we posted Sasha's one seat ROM squad, a whole lot of new one seat ROM squatters came out of the woodwork. Liz scored at 90 kilos. Liv scored at 40 kilos. She also got stuck in some extra agility work. The youngest of our Livs continues to improve her acceleration. Roberto benched 32s. Pretty good for a 200 plus wingspan. Nick was straight back into the gym for off season after a great cricket season. Colin and Justin spent half workout figuring out their secret handshake. Max and Stefan had a crack at the standing rollout. Halfway, well done. <laughs> Damn. Everyone's Nordics continue going from strength to strength. <laughs> Bailey has even started keeping stats. Hayden's at a new benchmark with a monster 13 rep set. That's one. Day two. Seven. Seven, yep. Day three. <laughs> Bella became our first female athlete to do a full naughty. Go, 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 you got this. Yeah, Bella. Yeah. yeah. Stefan became the fastest athlete to go from first rep to full rep. Yeah. Go. Harder than what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Dude, that's so hard. Yeah. That was, uh, that was dead straight though. He tried to spend a little bit of it. I think he was just never just like. Yeah. Yeah. And back. And back. One, one, one. Oh. <laughs> Oh. 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 Oh.
We move the Swiss balls from here to here. Although it was met with some resistance. What do you notice that's different, Cohen? Ah, uh, the balls. The balls are misplaced, and I'm not sure if I like it. It's, it's not core badge anymore. <laughs> what's, what's so wrong with it? It's just not right. There's only one here, the start is. You gotta keep it even. The whole feeling of the gym's just gone. It's just not right. So the, the whole plan with the balls is the, right. they're in a different spot because the space they were in, which is where James is sitting now, floating the plate. Everyone runs into them. Everyone runs into them, but that's the true. first problem. And they're near the bars, which isn't great. But we're also going to use that space for a Nordic station. <laughs> Worth it now? That's my stop. <laughs> Tristan came third at Nationals in the 3K. And it looks like Tristan Day, also from Victoria. He'll get just under sub, I think and take the bronze medal. The under 16 state teams also came in to prepare for nationals. First the girls. Okay, and let's go, big jump. Nice. Then the boys. In Random Thoughts, we talked foam rolling. Maybe it's more like uh, flossing your teeth for your muscles. Yeah. Not everyone flosses their teeth though. Well, exactly. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Start rolling first though. Went deep on hamstrings. Busted the myth that weight training stunts growth. It's actually not harmful at all, but more importantly, it's the ultimate um, growth plate protection strategy is to have a really strong, supple body with high movement skill. And geeked out on some science myths surrounding ice bars and stretching. Let's go back to nine, nine minutes ago. Uh, bone chilling waste of time is what the media says they said. Here's what they actually said. A lot of the studies uh, look at acute effects mm -hmm. and the effect of stretching immediately before, say, a sprint or an agility test or a vertical yeah. leap test, and they show significant reduction in power up to like four to eight percent type yeah. stuff. And that's, if you're talking about a 100 meter sprinter, there's a significant difference. But. And Jacob went to the AFL Concussion Symposium, which had information so new we can't even put it on social media yet. 